these uh, pile of parts will represent about $15 worth of uh, B chip and UHF carcasses. And the cool thing is, is I got all these strip line opposed emitter uh, power transistors. And these are UHF VHF devices, typically in the probably uh, 15 to 30 watt range, based upon what I read from the decoder uh, information on what species of radios they were. These were all FM units that were mostly trunk mount. Here's a bunch of stud mounts and a fair bit of uh, TL39, TL72 casing. Uh, small signal uh, devices. And then here's some whole bunch of uh, uh, screw downs. So that was quite the uh, quite the deal out of it. And then there was also a whole lot of these Motorola, uh, uh, this is almost all Motorola stuff. There's a little bit of other uh, stuff mixed in too on the uh, carcasses, but uh, these are all identical channel elements. So those would beg for turning into a crystal filter. These are mostly down in the 12 to 15 megs range internally. They're just part of a LO chain that's a multiplier scheme in the radio. But uh, most of the Mitrex were 10.7 megahertz uh, filter schemes. So these are uh, dual crystals in a single uh, HC49 can. And just lots of other uh, different uh, varieties of either crystals or filters that came out of them. And then I got a pretty nice uh, handful of silver mica caps and got a lot of these uh, higher Q uh, low inductance uh, Anelco capacitors. And oh, I picked up, uh, these were in the carcass pile on a on some part of the chassis, so all these BNCs were part of the deal. Uh, got a fair bit of uh, phono connectors, which I'm probably going to start uh, converting stuff over to. Got quite a bit of ferrite and axial uh, nice little cases that uh, I can uh, build uh, filters and whatnot inside of, but still uh, keep them shielded. And so we'll. Uh, pre-tin box looks like that. A couple of preamp front ends that uh, could be converted over, uh, this is more than likely going to be able to convert over to two meters, I think. These came out of uh, the VHF versions. And, oh yeah, and then a nice uh, fistful of uh, feed-through caps. Most of these are in the thousand puff range. And got some little uh, audio transformer style inductors that they came out of the audio section. So thinking that these could make a possibly for uh, a nice audio, you know, a, a passive device audio filter. And uh, and for two bucks, I got all these 18 amp, 100 volt diodes with hardware. They don't have the solder lugs, but the hardware is kind of annoying on these. Uh, it's not uh, regular run of the mill stuff. So. Uh, that was uh, that was just what came out of about 15 bucks worth of uh, BHF uh, and UHF uh, carcasses.